Are you a multi-passionate creator and business owner who wants to get started on YouTube, but you're not sure whether you should start with one, two, or more channels for all your different interests? If so, you're in the right place because in this video, I'm going to share the pros and cons and the thinking behind the decision to stick with one channel or build multiple channels. Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name's Abigail. I'm an over 40 content creator and I help other midlife women with their digital revamps and personal reinventions. On this channel, we explore self-identity, expand our digital minimalism and express our creativity through phone-based photos and videos so we can be more confident online and share meaningful content. Today, I'm gonna to help you decide whether you should have more than one channel if you're starting out on YouTube in 2022. By the end of this video, it's clear which approach works best for you and you can start publishing your YouTube videos with confidence. And I'm also gonna give you a handy guide to help you create better YouTube videos. So watch all the way to the end. So you work for yourself. You probably have a range of different kinds of clients. You also have a range of different products and services and solutions you can provide to solve their varied problems. I hear you. I totally get it. I have been there and I want to save you years of lack of clarity, procrastination that I suffered with when starting out and experimenting on YouTube. So my situation was that I had started my YouTube channel years and years and years ago but i only really got serious with it in the last six months that's when i started thinking about strategy and what was i doing and why did i even have this channel right for the decades prior to that i was just willy-nilly sharing content on this singular channel and it was no surprise that it didn't grow i didn't really gather an audience and quite frankly my audience was as confused as what i was as a result I wasn't enthusiastic about creating videos and being on YouTube, and so it went stagnant. By the end of this video, I want you to have clarity to be clear about whether you should start multiple channels on YouTube for your varying interests. Now, I know a large part that makes this decision really confusing is that there are huge YouTubers out there who some of them share anything and everything on a single channel and then others have multiple channels and they have specific subjects and specific topics that they cover on each individual channel. So what do you do as a new YouTuber? Which way do you go? Well, from my own lived experience, I'm gonna share my thoughts. And making this decision early on in your YouTube journey can make all the difference to your future success. Honestly, I wish I'd seen this exact video five years ago. I'd be far further along than I currently am. But it also means that I get to grow alongside you. So we're in this together and I know exactly what you're going through. So instead of just thumb sucking an answer to the question, should I have multiple channels as a new YouTuber? Let's get into the juicy details and get you your clarity. It's useful that you know two schools of thought. The first school of thought is that have one channel and just share everything there because your audience wants to know everything about you. And the second school of thought is have multiple channels where you dedicate each channel to specific subject matter, specific topics. You cover specific types of videos on that particular channel. And my thinking is if you are already a minor celebrity, if you've already got a following, then the first option will work for you because you've already grown that audience, you've already got that authority and people would generally be interested in what you do on the weekend and what you eat aside from any other content that you share. However, if you don't already have a following, then nobody's going to care what you do in your downtime. Nobody's going to care what you do on the weekend and what food you eat. They're coming to you for a specific reason. If you've got something to teach, and some value to give, then that's what they're coming for. So here's my advice to you. I tried the former while growing my YouTube channel and found that it confused the few people who were subscribed because in YouTube land, I'm a nobody. I haven't yet built the authority in a particular field to warrant the expectation that my small audience would be interested or even care about what I do on weekends or what I eat. When you're a smaller channel starting out, get really clear about how your channel benefits your audience. Your channel and content needs to be what your audience finds valuable. Sometimes that takes time to figure out, but that's why I'm making this video because I learned this the hard way. 
Ever since making the decision and starting to separate my archetyping content creation and personal branding content on this channel and making the decision to create a new channel for my outdoor adventures with my husband and our vegan foodie content on my looking for adventure channel, I've not only had more confidence and enthusiasm for the videos I make, but I've also seen a significant uptake in subscribers and views on both channels. Most importantly, I've got more clarity about my separate audiences and the content they will relate to. My business audience isn't necessarily interested in veganism, minimalism, and outdoor adventures. And my outdoorsy audience isn't necessarily interested in personality profiling, photo and video making, or digital minimalism. So it makes sense to separate them out and create videos that the specific audience enjoys and gets value from. So they keep coming back for more of the same, not random, all over the place content. So here's some questions to ask yourself if you're starting out on YouTube and are wondering whether to create one, two or more channels. Firstly, ask why. Take some time to think about why you want to have a YouTube channel or multiple YouTube channels. Are you doing it for business to send people to your offerings that you're hoping to get clients from or make sales? Or are you doing it just to document your adventures and those moments that are special to you that your family would enjoy watching? Next, ask how. How can you manage creating different content for different channels? It's no joke. If you're getting serious about YouTube, you really have to be committed to keep up with the content creation from the research, the ideas, to the filming, to the editing, to the optimization, and the cycle continues. So there is a lot of time and energy that goes into maintaining a useful and growing YouTube channel. If you're already strapped for time and resources to maintain one channel, you may want to reconsider the second channel until your first channel starts earning enough to run itself with the help of outsourced assistance. And on that note, I would highly recommend if you're considering more than one channel, max out at two to start with. I am turning into a digital minimalist and in this world, less is frequently more. And then lastly, ask yourself what? What is your ideal viewer going to be interested in? If you have the kind of personality that is so charismatic and your life is so fantastically interesting, then by all means, put everything onto one channel and ensure that you entertain your audience as well as give them value in the content that you create. But if they're only interested in business related or craft related or hobby related or something, they're wanting information. They're wanting to increase their own education and their own skill set then, well, that kind of answers the question. Build a channel around that interest or collection of related interests. So to recap, a pro for having more than one YouTube channel is that you can test which topics do well. Also, if someone enjoyed a particular video and head to your channel, they're going to check out whether there are similar videos around similar topics to warrant subscribing to your channel. So like attracts like. Another pro for more than one channel is that you can cross promote your channels and give your audience the choice to browse the content on your other channels. Bearing in mind that spreading out your energy and your time across multiple channels will obviously mean that the growth on each of them is likely going to be slower. But it's a great way of keeping the waters clear and not muddying the waters on a single channel, which is where I went wrong. I realized that my confused viewers were confused because one video was about photography, another video was about content creation, another video was about archetype personalities, another video was my husband and I going on some adventure, another video was about a vegan restaurant. And I was chucking that all on a singular channel. No wonder they were confused. So I made the decision to identify who were my primary audiences what were they specifically interested in? So now this channel, the Abigail K channel, is all about the personality archetypes, video and photo content creation, as well as all things digital minimalism. And then my looking for adventure channel is the channel where my husband and I get to just have fun experiences. We document those experiences, outdoor adventures and vegan foodie things. and. I have a place to share those videos because I actually enjoy it. And it'll be fun in years to come to look back on those videos and reminisce about our adventures. And it's also a great way for my family in the UK to keep updated on what we're doing. If we gain subscribers on that channel, then that's just a bonus. But at least now I have a channel for my 
fun and creative expression that is separate and not confusing to my main channel. Which but a major big con with multiple channels is managing those multiple channels. It takes a lot of time and energy. One of the key things about building a YouTube channel is that you do enjoy the process. And if you're not enjoying it, it will die down. So please learn from my mistake. My confusion, my lack of clarity meant that I wasn't enjoying YouTube as a content creator. And so for years it was stagnating. So my advice to you is start with one to simply start and go into it with the expectation that you'll clarify what's best for you over time. Gauge the content, gauge how your audience responds to it. See how your workflow goes if you're able to manage one or two channels at a time. Get into the rhythm and the groove of managing a YouTube channel in the first place before deciding that you're gonna have multiple channels. And speaking of YouTube workflow, if you're wanting some guidance and some assistance, I have a handy tool for you that you can grab straight away, absolutely free. And it's actually the workflow that I'm using to create my YouTube videos. It's a six step process and it's got worksheets, it's got checklists, it's got prompts, it's gonna help you with your scripting, it's gonna help you with ensuring that you optimize the best way you can on your videos. Just go and download it, abigailk.com forward slash YouTube dash workflow. And with the sound reasoning I've given you here in this video, you'll know when it's time to branch out into multiple channels. But just start. If you haven't started one YouTube channel yet because you suffer from online imposter syndrome, then you're going to want to watch this video where I share one simple change that can make that imposter syndrome disappear so you can start your channel and start sharing meaningful content. Now I'd love to hear from you. Tell me in the comments how many YouTube channels do you currently have and also what kind of videos do you or would you like to share on YouTube? And if you don't yet have a channel on YouTube but you want one, what's holding you back? A big shout out to all my new subscribers who joined me here on this channel since my last video in December. If you don't know, I've moved from my city apartment to a countryside silo and went on an epic road trip around South Africa last month, which is why there's been a gap in my uploading. But it's great to see subscribers joining each week and I got to celebrate reaching the 800 subscriber mark while away on our adventure. So thank you so much. I do appreciate all your support and I promise to keep bringing you valuable videos on this channel. So the two most important takeaways from this entire video is simply start and make it as fun as possible. Okay, three. There's three most important things. The third one is create what your viewers want to watch. Remember to grab your copy of the Six Seas YouTube Workflow at abigailk.com forward slash YouTube dash workflow. It's been great to catch up with you again. Thanks for joining and I'll see you in the next video.